Hi everybody, my name is Brittany of Britsy Thrift. I'm a reseller primarily on Poshmark and today I have a pretty sizable haul for you. I've been throwing things to the side and that mountain has piled up. I should have made a haul video about this stuff a long time ago and I'm just falling behind. So um, I'm like, let's just go ahead on and film this video, show everybody what I got and then I can get to listing it. So here we go. This first item I have in packaging I haven't photographed it yet um, I just I really wanted to protect it because it's new with tags I've never heard of this before but the style definitely caught my attention so let me unravel it for you this you know I love sparkly sequinsy shimmery shiny things look at the feathers and then it's sheer up here around the shoulders beautiful dress this is new with tags the this is Antonio Milani, which I have heard of, but this seems special because it says Nicola Baffy for Antonio Milani. So I don't know if this is maybe like a Christmas present for somebody. The tag just kind of looks a little Christmassy, but I think that's just the regular tag. But just based on the style, I thought that this would do very well. And to my surprise, when I checked the comps, the comps look really good. Like... I think that I could probably get at least 100 for this. This is so cute, right? And I love that beautiful champagne -y color. This is just so fun and beautiful. And the fact that it's new with tags is awesome. It's got a keyhole back here. And this is a size 8. I thought this would make a really, really good pickup, especially for only $5. It's so interesting. The comps look great. It's new with tags. I think it's beautiful. I think this is going to be great for my closet says the original price is $249, so that's really cool. And I'm going to very carefully fold it back up and put it back in the plastic bag because I do not want these sequins or feathers to get damaged. I found a pair of men's Levi's. This is the 514 straight, and these are a size 40 by 32, so new with tags, Levi's. Um, not like, you know, incredibly amazing or anything, but I think that since they're men's, I think they'll do fine. They're new with tags, that's great. And I saw comps for about $35, so that's pretty good. I always wanted to find new with tag democracy. I've tried selling them before, and I have sold them before, but it wasn't like anything amazing. I picked up a new with tag, uh, I'm sorry, I picked up some pre-owned ones before, never found it new with tags. This is Absolution, size 6 petite, which I'm not that thrill thrilled about the size. I try to get bigger sizes, but Again, the tag sold me because I have never found it new with tags before. So this is the ankle skimmer. It says mold and hold. Six petite. The other thing that kind of made me want to put it back was the fact that they're purple. I mean, I have sold colored denim, uh, tie-dye denim, all that stuff, like printed denim. I mean, that that's, I mean, at least it is solid, you know, so, but still the fact that there is a color to it other than blue. I was thinking about putting it back, but I was like, but I've never found new attack democracy and it is the absolution, which is supposed to be the better one to sell. So I grabbed this one because I can mark it off of my bucket list to find new attack democracy. I'm trying to be careful so I don't snatch off any tags. This is, oh Lord, I'm trying to be so careful with this one. It's kind of hard the way I had to like fold it up. The belt is a little difficult, but this is Eloquy. This is a size 28 and it is new with tags and it's also got its spare button there so it's this really pretty ruffle v-neck floral dress um and there's the belt it's got a pretty thick belt on it pretty stiff um i don't know i just thought this would be really nice for spring and it buttons up all the way down buttons up all the way down button buttons down all the way down all the way down there so for $5.60, why not? This I paid $1.29 for out of the $2 bin. It is a new with tag airy bra. Uh, it's called Smooth, I don't know if it's Smooth, Smooths or Smooth Easy or what, but it says by Airy. And this is a size 34B, it says full coverage. This is a really, really soft nude color bra. I think I could at least sell it for $15. So the original price for this was $49.95 and it says it's dated for $7.23. So this was just last year. 
I've never heard of this, but it feels like something that's really nice. This is called Huck, and this is a uh, performance pair of pants. It says performance fishing, I believe. And when I checked comps, the performance fishing pants were doing well. So it just looks like a regular pair of khakis, but if you could feel them, sometimes you can tell quality by just the way that it feels, and this has that feel. But they seem like the comps kind of varied, but I, I still think that it was worth picking up for only five bucks. There it is, H-U-K. This is pretty cool. This is Trip NYC by Dan Goodman. This is an extra small, yeah. And this is what you call a tutu corset skirt. I see the exact same one has sold for $125 um, on eBay. So it's pretty cool. It's got all these details on it with the flowers, the ribbon, the lace up, and then it's got this purple leopard here. And then you see the toll hanging out at the bottom. People do actually look for the toll dresses and the toll, um, I'm sorry, they call them tutu. The two dresses and the two the tutu dresses and the tutu skirts from Trip NYC. And when I found this one, I found another one. Um, yeah, they were donated by the same person and the other one was called Royal Bones, which also comes from Hot Topic, but the comps didn't look as good. So I only stuck with the Trip NYC for this one. It's really pretty too. I love that purple. This will be pretty interesting to see how it sells. There aren't that many of them, but it looks like maybe it has a following. Uh, I don't know, but as far as the style, I love this. It caught my attention immediately. Look at that button there on the waist. So first of all, this is a black pair of corduroy pants and it's got this pretty pink trim and the brand is called Tsuki or maybe Tsuki where the T is silent, I'm not sure. But these are new with tag and they are a size 34. So there's the tag. At first I just thought this is like probably just something that was sold at a boutique, but when I actually started seeing comps, there's a pair of overalls. I can't remember the exact name. This is such a cute little pocket here with the pink trim. But there's a pair of overalls that people are apparently on the lookout for and they sell for like $150 or something. But these pants look really cool to me and they're new with tags, so I can't wait to try out this Brand. This is a new to me brand and it seems like it does pretty well even though there aren't that many comps. To me that's a good thing because that means there's not going to be that much competition and hopefully it will sell pretty soon. I don't know if you can see this but like if I get up close it's almost like, I don't know, embroidery. Like it's textured there and that looks really cool to me. This is not particularly exciting but this is called Nautica. These are size 10, new with tag, uh, black shorts. I got them out of the $2 bin. I see comps that are at like maybe $15, $20, $25, somewhere in there. Some are a little bit higher and a little bit lower, but this is the mid-rise twill short 5-inch inseam. So again, for only $2.50, I think that this, I like uh, little things like this sometimes because they come in handy. I just recently sold a shirt that I picked up out of the $2 bin and it sold for $22.00. At the time, I think it was the old pricing, so I'd only paid like $1.80 for it. But those little things can add up, and they always come back to help out my piggy bank. So another $2 item. This is a new tag, J. Crew, and it's the tag that I like. I love this little brown tag here. So it's a J. Crew pink size medium bodysuit with a snap crotch. It's like a little tank top there. Cute little blush pink. This is a new tag, Tyler... Tyler Bow, size small, very beautiful, kind of a cream, black and white, creamy white, um, like a geometric tribal print. Very pretty. It's got like the tail slits here. It's a maxi dress. It has some stretch in the middle. Let's see. It doesn't have the style. It's got the style number on this, but not the style name. And it says that it originally retailed for $291. So I've got, oh yeah, and it's got this string on the back. I have another Tyler bow that's new with tag, and it's also very soft. Sorry, I keep inter interrupting myself. But um, I have another Tyler bow that's new with tags, and it hasn't sold yet, but I don't feel like it's really been listed for that long. I've tried selling Tyler bow um, pre-owned, and it didn't work out too good, but I remember that dress, and that dress actually was not that cute. I think it was just like a really plain, solid navy blue. Nothing like this and nothing like the other one that I have that's new with tags. So I have high hopes for these 
and they do retail for a lot as you can see so I'm hoping that the right buyer will come along for this. This would be the second time that I found this brand. This is called Hutch and this is an extra large. So Hutch from my understanding is sold at Anthropology. And when I check comps, it actually has pretty good comps, but the other item that I have in this brand is a dress, and I can feel the quality in the dress. It feels very nice, um, but it hasn't moved yet, so I'm still waiting for the right buyer for that, but I wanted to pick it up again because I don't find it that often, and the comps look good still. So this is a very interesting pair of pants. I call them Palazzo, Pal I think it's Palazzo, Palazzo pants where they got this this very slinky wide leg kind of like lounge pants it's got this nice stretchy gathered band up here at the top for the waistband and the colors are just really beautiful and artsy i love that so i think somebody else is going to like it also the fact that it's extra large should help it along i almost put this one back just because of the size so this is a made well but it's a size extra small and I feel like there is a lot, lot, lot of small and extra small, even medium, made well, anthropology-esque stuff. But as I said, it is new with tags. So I was looking at the style of it and I was like, well, I like that it's a square neck because I just think that's a cute style. And I also like that it's ribbed. It's in this pale blue, which is not quite showing up so good because my light is sort of distorting the color a little bit. But... Um, in person, it's a nice pale blue and it's got the slits on the sleeve, which I think adds a touch of class. It makes it look a little more elegant. So because I like the style and it's new with tags, even though it's an extra small, I still uh, decided to bring it home anyway. Maybe somebody will bundle it. Maybe. This I got out of the $2 bin because they also put in sweatshirts. This is a Banana Republic size extra large, new with tags, and this is called Core Temp. So I think it's supposed to be like a base layer. Just a uh, beige, just a beige long sleeve sweatshirt. This is another one I debated on. So again, J. Crew. I love selling this brown tag. I think it does get a lot of attention. Original price is $110. These are the Slim Boyfriend Jean and they are in a size 26. I wasn't so sure about picking them up just because they are white. And it's not like I haven't sold white denim before. But, I don't know, I always just immediately think that people shy away from it because, you know, it gets dirty so fast. But, I mean, it's new at tags. It's, you know, not like the smallest size in the world. And it's a boyfriend fit. And I really like the hems here. Usually, if I'm going to sell Old Navy, I try to get, like, plus size, like, extra large or higher. But this is in the $2 bin. And it's new at tags. It's a tankini, like a swim top beautiful little pink orange swim top with a little ruching there on the side. I saw a new tag Old Navy bikini bottom that was orange and that one was in a large. This one is in a medium so I think the person just had mismatch sizes to fit her more comfortably. I decided to leave behind the swim bottoms since they were a different size and um, I don't know they matched the orange in this so I debated on getting it but and maybe selling it together and just saying hey they're two different sizes but at the end, I just put it back. I don't, I don't, I just, I don't know. I just decided to put it back and just get this. So I like the way that it fastens in the back. And it's also got like a little bit of a, it peeks through right there. And it's got a tie right there on the chest. So I just thought this was really pretty. Only $2. So um, maybe I'll find somebody that already has their swim bottom, you know, and they just want this part. Have you ever been thrifting and realized that you forgot your phone at home? Yeah, I remember that just came back to mind. That bikini, tankini top that I just picked up that day was like so crazy because, I mean, that's the worst feeling where it's like you're seeing all these brands and, you know, like I like to look up stuff to see the hidden gems of things that like, I like learning new brands and the only way I'm going to really learn them is if I go shopping in a thrift store and look around and feel things and I'm like, well, that feels nice. Maybe that's something I've never heard of before. And then you go to reach for your phone and it's like, oh my God, I don't have my phone. So you have to leave it there. Like it was killing me because I saw so many new to me brands that may or may not have been anything. And you know, once you leave and come back, those things aren't there anymore. So it was just a rough day. Um, I tried my best to, to just stick to the things that I had some knowledge about, but it was killing me to not be able to look it up on my phone. So Definitely lesson learned. Make sure you have your phone before you go thrifting because otherwise it can be pretty tough.
This is a brand that I haven't tried before, but I have heard of. This is called Planet by Lauren G. And this is a 100% cotton size one, which I'm going to have to figure out what how their sizing works. Um, I don't know what a one equates to, but it just looks like a very minimalist sort of basic tank top. I like the little ruching detail on the side there. I found three of these. I found two tan ones. Um, actually, I found a blue one and a tan one on one day. And then when I came back, there was one more tan one. So I just went on and got it. I think I could probably sell it for about $45. As uh, basic and plain as this is, apparently maybe the brand, that's what they go for. Maybe it's like an Eileen Fisher type of thing where it's supposed to be very toned down and neutral colory. It just seemed like every piece was selling for about $45 and up, even this stuff. And I see some people have this same top listed for like $100 new with tags. Again, I think I would shoot for more like $45 or $40 since mine is pre-owned. It almost makes me think of like a maternity top when I look at it. It just seems like it's got like a lot of looseness and stretch in there. Again, on the day that I did not have my phone, I just, uh, I was looking through the $2 bin and I saw this, this is called CC Fashion Collection, which normally, I mean, I would just leave it because I was like, I don't really know, I don't know what that brand is. But when I looked at it, it said Angora, 80% Angora and 20% polyester. This is a one size and you can see how furry it is. It's extremely soft. I think I was thinking about like rabbit fur or when I hear Angora, I think of rabbit fur, but I don't think that it necessarily means it's rabbit fur. I'm not sure. I got to look it up. But someone had donated three of these and since they were two dollars a piece I didn't have my phone I got stressed and I was like well I hate to leave it if it's actually worth something so I was like if, if it doesn't sell for anything then oh well that's my that's you know just the price you pay for leaving your phone or whatever but um, still I think that maybe I can get something for this I see a couple of them listed for $25 it's got the little ruffle here here is the other one and here is the third one. As soon as I felt this, I was like, okay, that is linen. I like linen, especially for the spring and summer. Very lagging-esque. Then I saw this label. It says Completo Lino, Completo Lino by Arthurio. And this is a size medium. I just love that label. I like how it looks kind of cartoony. That cartoony sort of look reminds me a lot of certain other brands that I have seen the label for that are extremely expensive if you ever find it, but you would never guess. And they have labels that look something like this. And that's what clued me in on this one. Now, I don't think that this is crazy expensive, but I do think that probably about 40 or 50 for this would be fine. It's 100% linen. It's got like the little pin striping there. And it's sort of like a grayish blue. It's also got like a what you call it like a ruffle there on the sleeves so it just feels like a very nice top if you're going on vacation button down very breathable nice so gonna try this out hopefully it works out well here's a brand that I never pick up and I'm surprised that I picked it up this time but I just had such a good feeling about it so this is called rib dolls which is a brand that I do see but uh, I never pick it up but the reason I picked this up was because it's a 3x so it's a plus size which is great it's also new with tags and oops, it's got a belt so the belt was you know not lost that's a good thing it's a maxi dress and it's this beautiful leopard slash cheetah print dress it's got a lot of stretch to it just seemed like it had a lot of really good factors going for it and I do see some of these selling for uh, about $40 so I figured if I was gonna take a chance on this brand ever this would be the time to do it it had a lot of good elements about it this is a brand that I have found before, but I left it behind because I did not find it in good condition. I think it was a maxi skirt. It was a black maxi skirt that I found before. The brand is called Geiger Tyrol. This is a size 36. And the only flaw that I see on this, it's really cute. It's this red 100% wool sweater. And you can see the brand name is on that plate down there as well. The only flaw that I see on this is the stain. So it's got a stain on the sleeve there. I didn't see any holes like I expected because I was like, usually when you're looking at wool, 
there are holes in it but she kept this in really good condition other than the stain on the sleeve and I feel like a dry cleaner could probably get that out it's really not that big of a deal I like the little pearl pearl detail buttons kind of got a little military style going on now I don't know what a 36 size 36 is but if I had to guess in US sizing this is probably more like an extra small could possibly be an extra extra small but I would just say extra small I think but I'll definitely include measurements in my listings as I always do and I will do some re research to see what a 36 is but I just thought this was pretty cool I'm glad that I finally get to try out this brand I was just kind of waiting for the right piece to do it with and I feel like this one is the one so this one I paid up for just a little bit, but I totally think it's worth it. This is a new tag J. Crew. I think this is one of the newer labels, like that big, the big bold font and with the black label there. And then of course, as usual, my favorite tag to sell from them is this brown tag. But this is a buffalo check plaid snap jacket. It feels like a uh, shacket, like a shirt jacket. It's got like the buttons, um, the crests on the buttons. That's what I'm looking at. It's got really pretty detail there. And this was marked up to $7.99, which is fine. Let me see if it's got the original. There's no original price on this, but I see another one that's very similar that sold for, I think it was $75. So $7.99 for this new at tags. This is a size, this is a size extra large. I thought this was a really good deal it's extremely soft and you can feel like that little cushioning on the inside because it's not you know it's not just a regular shirt it's a jacket 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 so I'm excited about this I do like selling J Crew, and I think this is gonna do very nicely oh yeah okay so I usually don't have good luck with Everlane but I did have good luck with Everlane in the month of January so we'll see how this goes so this is an Everlane the downside is it's a size zero so I would prefer a larger size but I mean what are you gonna do but what I do like about it is that it's this wide leg denim black denim it's like a high rise it just feels really good I feel like she maybe only wore this one time and that was it I was checking the fabric content on it I don't think it's anything special it's just 97% cotton and 3% elastane. So it would have been cool if it was like organic cotton or something like that. So I was weighing all of these factors, trying to figure out if I should get it or not. I almost put it back and then something kept telling me, no, go get it, go get it. So I went to get it. So I don't like the size, but I do like the style of it. So I don't know. All we're going to be able to do is wait and see. I saw these poking up out of the $2 bin, and then, of course, I saw the symbol. This is Athleta, or Athleta. There's the label there. This is an extra large. The colors are what really caught my attention. I was like, okay, that is total Sherbert right there. So I looked at the back tag to see if it had the actual uh, style name on it, which means that it's one of the newer Athletas, um, or not necessarily new, I guess, but like, more recent than the ones that are just like the gray boxy tag that just says Athleta. So this one says the Love Proudly 7-8 tight. And when I check the comps, it's got this little pocket here in the back too, of the waistband, that's cool. But I saw one that sold for $75, which is phenomenal for a pair of leggings. But I mean, I could kind of believe it because this is really cool. I love this. That's so pretty. So for $2.50, if I can turn this, and especially since it's an extra large too, you know, so if I can turn this into $75, that is just going to be fine with me. Oh, yes. Guilty as charged. I, I did it again. Spanx. <laughs> I don't know what it takes for me to like stop picking this up, but I can't help it. I think I remember this day. So uh, I only had one hour to shop and I was like kind of getting frustrated because I wanted more time so I was like running around like a bat out of in case kids are watching you know what I'm saying so I'm like trying to see like last minute things before I get in line and I circle back around to the two dollar bin and this was sticking up so this is a size extra large the thing that got me is that it's these like moto -y, like it's got the gloss on it and I don't see any patches where the gloss has worn off like it's still 
it's still pretty shimmery shiny but it's not like uh it's not like a trash bag shiny it's like it's crackled or something like crackled shiny but i know that these can be you know more popular like the little moto shiny ones so at the last minute i just threw it in my cart and i was like you know what hey okay so let's get into some shoes and then we'll come back to some more clothing i've been hoping to find these and i have found them before but they they're usually not in the best condition when i find them these are like new and that's awesome they've got like the little crop boss detail there these are the wedge thong and I'm sorry I didn't even tell you the name of them these are UFOs so I've had them on my bolo list for a while but again I haven't found them in good enough condition these I actually found at the bottom of the two dollar bin in my thrift store that I like to go to for some reason people like to um, like stick them in the two dollar bin like shoes and I guess it's because they're gonna try to come back and get them later on or either they'll let somebody else know that hey I stuck such and such down in the bottom of the kids bin or whatever but I mean if I see it it's like it's whatever you know it's fair game so who knows if the person would have even come back to get them but I grabbed them I think they're pretty cute nowhere nowhere which is amazing they're wedged so we're going to give these a try. I think I could probably get about $45 for these. Great for like the spring and summer. I am so excited about these because when I looked up comps, I think I saw like $250 for these. So these are like gator shoes, you know? And he kept them in really, really good condition. So these are called David Eden. As you can see down in there, but they're David Eden and they're kind of like this tan green gator shoe. So these are the bottoms. Like that. And these are size 10 and a half. Says genuine. Wait a minute. Did that say genuine lizard? I'm calling them gator and this thing says lizard on the bottom. But still, all the comps on these were like crazy, crazy good. So here I am trying to make Alan Edmonds work because I kept hearing about Alan Edmonds and I walk into the thrift store and I'm like, okay, I wonder if I'll find some Alan Edmonds, even though I've never sold Alan Edmonds before. Don't find Alan Edmonds, but I do find these and I think these are much better. I think once I get them listed, I'm excited. I'm just excited. So this is going to be, I think, a really good return. I am so shocked that I picked these up because Cole Haan just has not done well for me. I mean, I have sold them before but like these grand zeros I got a bitter taste in my mouth from these once before but I mean these were just in such good condition like I don't see heel drag back there they are men's they are this blue color like sneaker lace up wool sneaker they have their insoles and it says zero grand on the inside there so I don't know I just wanted to oh I remember this day I have flashbacks. Like I said, these are this this is like a culmination of uh, hauls that I have like set aside. So different days when I when I think back to like what I was thinking and what I was doing in the store, I have flashbacks. So this was the day that I had like some. Sometimes I have vertigo, and I had like a vertigo spell while I was in there, and it's crazy because I had like my whole cart full of stuff, and I think looking down at the phone triggered it. So like I dropped down because I was trying to like pretend like I was tying my shoe. So and, and at the same time kind of falling over into the bin because like when when you have vertigo or at least for me, like my vision goes from this to that where it's like everything just gets really crooked. And so you think you're holding yourself straight up, but actually you're going this way and you're going to the floor. So I remember that was this day that I picked up these shoes. And I was supposed to like weed through my basket a little better than what I did. I think I did pretty well for someone that was kind of like, oh, you know, but uh, I just, I, I didn't really have a lot of time. I wanted to make sure I got through the checkout without like falling over or embarrassing myself or whatever. So uh, I just decided to keep these since they were, they seem to be in pretty good condition. I think that they're going to do fine. These are a size eight and a half men's. I don't know. I have a good feeling about these. So. I think it'll be all right. What's crazy is I found these not long after I sold these. 
So I sold a pair. I thought they were exactly the same, but they're not. They're just a little bit different. This is a brand called Anu. So there it is at the bottom. I have sold these before in sandals, and I've also sold these in a pair of shoes that were very similar to these. So as far as I know, this is a brand that sells for me. And I thought it was interesting that I found these right after I sold the other pair. Sorry, it's a little dark in there, but there it is. Anu, and that is their logo. Here is a pair of Ugg boots. They are Ugg wedge boots, which I definitely need to get listed, I swear. So there it is at the bottom. Is it Ugg Australia? Nope, it just says Ugg, and it says waterproof. So these are waterproof boots. They are kind of like a Chelsea boot. Not really. It's got this side zip here, and then it's got the crisscross detail there. There it is. I think it's so cool that they're waterproof. These are a size 9, so good size. Oh, I just wanted to make mention of something. Always check the sizes when you're, when you're shopping, because most recently I picked up a pair of shoes that I really liked the style of. I liked what they were made of. But when I, I kept carrying them around and I was like, oh, are you sure you want to get them? I really like them, but I don't know. Just check them one more time. So I checked them one more time and I found out that one shoe was a nine and a half and the other shoe was a 10. So always check the sizes because you do get mismatched, mismatched sizes and you don't want to get home and be angry about it. I mean, some people can sell it individually, but that's not something that I would want to do. So I just went on and put them back. I'm glad I caught it. But I was just thinking about that while I'm telling you about these shoes. Here's a pair of boots that I got from Ross. So I kept checking in after like the 49 cent sale in January. And I, okay, this is what I was looking for. So I found this pair of pink Doc Martin sandals that they only had one pair of. And they were marked at $30. And at the time that I saw them, I didn't get them. But upon looking up comps since then, I realized I made a big boo-boo because now they're selling for like $145. So, of course, when I went back in to find those Doc Martens, they were gone. Somebody else had grabbed them, so they got a really good deal, and I wish I had been a little bit more wiser, but it's okay. Instead of those, I did not walk out empty-handed, but I walked out with this pair of Guess. So these were $5.99, which is a really good deal. I, I think the first thing that caught my attention was the fact that they're purple. I love this dark, plummy purple. They are a very chunky sole. And they've got like the G, the G logo all the way through here. Just very cool, chunky sole combat boots for only $5.99. Now, oh yeah, and here's the, there's the logo there. These are a smaller size. These are a size six and a half, but that's not like the smallest size in the world. So, oh, they were originally $35. That's awesome. Like when you see the... When you see the scribble at the bottom, that's them putting their price on it. So that way if the tag gets popped off, then they still know like how much the boots were originally. So $5.99 for these is just such a crazy good price. And they are called the Vanny or Vanny, something like that. Style boot, super pretty. I almost wish that they were my size because I would definitely wear these. But they are not. So um, I'm going to be selling them. So great deal at Ross and more shoes like i said i've been compiling all these things waiting for you guys and so i'm finally sitting down to record it and i'm super excited to see like all of these things again and to finally be able to get them listed so this is a j crew factory Let's see can i get that yep j crew factory size eight and a half they are my size but i'm not gonna keep them i got them to sell they are brand new and I think I'm actually going to list them as new with tags even though they don't have a box but I mean like the tag the sticky tag is there there is nowhere on the bottom of these like she just took them out of the box didn't wear them these are actually real calf hair so you see the texture there it's actual hair leopard spotted and these are a Dorsey style flat point toe ballet slipper shoe Ugh. I think these are beautiful and I think that I'm going to have no problem with selling these because I like selling J. Crew. These are new. The style is good. I think that the size is a common size. So I think that this was a good pickup. Uh, I didn't want to pick these up because I haven't had the best of luck, luck with all birds. I think maybe their time came and went. And I actually saw the same pair sold at Ross when I was looking at those guest shoes so um I, I don't think they're really all of that anymore 
but at Goodwill, these were actually pretty cheap, again, $4. And I like ballet slippers. So I have sold a pair of Allbirds ballet slippers before. This is a smaller size. This is a, I'm going to guess, six. Yep. So a size six, but I like this neutral beige color. They seem really, really comfortable, really soft. Got that little knit there like a sweater. So, I mean, I don't know, $4, I'm going to try it. They look like they haven't been worn like that. I don't see anything. I think I see a little bitty, bitty bit of dinge. Maybe where she tried it on or something. I don't know, but I don't even really see that. Oh, what's the fascination with the Squishmallows? I don't know. They're just really, really cute and they're really soft. So I forgot what this one's name is, but it was marked at $1.99 because usually they like to mark these up in thrift stores now. And I mean, even at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I think the lowest I've seen them are like $10, I believe. So $1.99 is really good for this. And I think... The name is, I can't remember the name, but it's a cauldron. Because I was looking at it, I was like, what is this? But it's like a Halloween stuff uh, plush. Uh, like, this is his little... Because at first I was like, okay, is that a bat? You know, because it looks like a bat wing. I mean, I don't know. But this is the spoon. So it's a Halloween Squishmallow. And I just thought it was really cute. And for $1.99, I just threw him in the cart. He comes, home, he comes home with me. Like, he's so soft. I love this. I've got a couple more pairs of shoes. I actually put these in plastic to try to protect them. I have found this brand only maybe twice before. I found a pair of jeans. This is called L Space, so that way you don't have to wonder. So this is the first time that I've actually found this brand in a cute style of something, and also it's new. She did not wear these, which is phenomenal. So this is a size 39. Sorry. <laughs> size 39. L space or L space and I forgot the exact name but they've got this beautiful woven sort of like bamboo straw detail there geometric shape just thought these are really cool nice size brand new I mean this was a perfect opportunity to grab this brand and see if I can actually sell it I just really like these um, this is Skechers sometimes Skechers can do well and other times it won't but again these were not worn at all nowhere whatsoever still has the sticker on the bottom this is a size nine so a nice size and I just really like this beautiful woven textured upper it's a thong as you can see thong flip-flop sandals just very nice for like the summer vacation like the size of them love the condition this is a brand that I have seen before but I left it behind and then I saw a video where someone mentioned that it does sell for them but maybe not the most exciting thing I don't know but it's called Nayu Nayu I think it's in AU but this is a size extra small and even though it is an extra small I love the content of it so this is a hemp blend I do believe this is 55% hemp and 45% organic cotton so I love that you know, that very nice, uh, I don't know if you want to call it environmentally friendly, lagging, minimalist, organic-y type feel. It's got that little pleat there on the back. And it's got pockets. So it's just like a knee-length dress. I'm getting excited going through this haul because I'm remembering things that, like I said, it's been kind of pushed to the side while I work on other things and I've been waiting to make this haul video, but now that I'm going back through it, I'm like, okay, I'm amped up. I'm ready. I'm ready to list this stuff. So this is Carl Lagerfeld Paris and this is a size 14. I haven't sold this brand yet, but I do know that it retails for a lot. So I picked this one up right after I rephotographed the other one. How coincidental. But this one's new at Tags as well. The original price on it is 100 and $48. So it's a nice little short sleeve tweed. Is it sheath dress or shift dress? I think it's sheath. But it's got this beautiful gold tone zipper on the back. And if you didn't notice, it has this nice little accent of like braided. It almost, it's like a necklace, like a woven plastic necklace, but it's part of the dress. So I thought that by it being a size 14, new at tags, is an expensive brand. I like the texture. I have sold um, 
I've sold a dress by Trina Turk that kind of reminded me of this and I think that's why I kind of gravitated towards it as well and I remember that dress did really well so by it being a similar style I feel like uh, Trina Turk and Karl Lagerfeld may be in like the same arena as far as like you know like the level of the name. This one was marked damaged. This is Good American and this is a size 6. It's new with tags but as I said it says that it's damaged and I think the reason it's damaged is because it has some dirt which usually is what happens when you have you know white or light colored things but the only thing that I can see wrong with it is that it has like some little marks like that which I don't think is that big of a deal so I picked it up I feel like it could be maternity maybe it's maternity I don't know it says ivory yeah, so anyways, it's got this ruching on the sides, and it just seems like a basic white top, but if that's the only thing that's wrong with it is the fact that it's got a few little dark marks that aren't even that serious. I mean, it doesn't look like you scrubbed a tire with it or anything, so, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal for a good American if it's going to be new with tags. So this is a size small mod cloth, very pretty white dress. I love how flowy it is, and then you can see how it's like ruffled in there. Look at that little bow detail. That's so pretty. And then, of course... Here's the tag, so new with tags, very pretty, size small, sleeveless, I love this, very pretty. So we're going to give this a try. I have some other new with tag mod cloth that is listed and it is getting some attention, it just hasn't sold yet. Sorry, I just realized that it's got like a little bit of some metallic in there and I love that. Okay, this ticked me off so bad. When I got home, I was like, okay, this is what you get for not doing research. So I'm looking through the dress section and then I see this, right? The nines by Hatch. And my brain is only processing Hatch. I'm thinking, oh, Hatch, expensive maternity brand. So I grab it. It's this pretty eyelet, floral eyelet dress. What I didn't know is that this is, this is a size extra small. What I didn't know is that this is actually something that is at Target, I believe. From what I could see, all the comps on this look terrible. Like nine dollars sold seven dollars sold and i was like oh my gosh if i had known but i just was like oh it's hatch you know it's some form of hatch so let's just get it and i didn't even check the comps so that was on me that was my mistake but now i know and i'm like well if it was something that was sold as a diffusion line like at target usually they have like four target you know with the name like i would think that it would say hatch for target or have like the little target target symbol on it but Instead, I just, I thought that this wasn't that and I messed up. So I'm not happy about this. It is still a cute little dress and everything, but I, those comps look really, really bad for the nines by Hatch. I would not have picked this up, but I'm still going to sell it, hopefully, you know, but that's why you got to do your, re your research. Otherwise, things like this can occur. This is like Christmas. I'm trying to like figure out what it is that I've picked up. Okay, so Prana does not do well for me, but this is a men's pair of jeans, and these are the Slim Fit. They are 32 by 32. It says born from the ex born from the experience. So by them being men's, and when I check the comps, they actually men's looks like it does pretty well in the jeans department. So I was like, okay, Prana, I will give you another chance. Where is that? There's the brand on the back and their little logo. I don't know, it just hasn't sold well for me in the past. Like, dresses have gone for, like, really, really cheap amounts to the point where I was like, once they were gone, I promise no more prana. I don't care how cute it is. But sometimes men's can be a little different, so I grabbed these. Hopefully, I'll have better luck with these. Fingers crossed. Okay, I love this. I don't like picking up vintage because it usually doesn't sell for me. But I think leather vintage does a little bit better than if I'm just picking something up because it's got like a cute crochet pattern on it or something. But this I definitely think was a win. So this is a size 18. This is called Excelled Collection. And it is new with tags. Somebody took such good care of this. Like really good care of it. I love this. This is actually leather. And it's a brown leather. And this is like a midi skirt. So this reminds me of like Newport News genealogy collection. Um, I sold some Express that's been like this with the leather, like the actual leather. This is just like straight out of a time capsule. I don't know how long ago 
it was created, but I mean, somebody just took such good care of it and it was only $4.50 for me. So, I mean, it just checked off so many boxes with the size 18. It's a beautiful brown color, no flaws, 100% leather, new with tags. I mean, it's just like, it goes on and on and on. And I was like, you know what? If this is a mistake, I'll gladly make it because I love this skirt. Next, we have Flax, which is another lag and look brand, very minimalist, very low key, but it's worth picking up. So this is a size small. I'm thinking that I will be able to sell it for about $40. I think I sold another one that was very similar to this for $75 because they had like the same little mini micro hounds tooth print in there. And it's got like the little pockets there. So this is 100% linen. This is what they are known for. It's an automatic yes for me when I find this. I don't like picking up BDG. Plus, this is a very small size. This is like a, yeah, this is a size 24. So this is the main reason, well, the brand and the size is what made me want to put it back. However, this is called High Rise. This is the High Rise Extreme Baggy Jean. The only reason I picked it up was because it's got this crazy psychedelic brown print that I just really, really like. I love that, like all that in there. Like kind of looks like your eyes are going like, woo, you know. So I thought this was cool enough to pick up. It's a zip fly. I feel like it, you know, should have been a button fly or something. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to sell it. I just really like the style of it. But BDG doesn't usually do well for me. And the size 24 does not help it. But we're going to try. Look at that. That's so cool. That is what I like. That's different. That's so unique. So this was an automatic yes for me. This is a Madewell Maternity Skinny New with Tag. Pair of maternity pants. Uh, size 27. And it is the full belly panel. So this is an absolute yes for me. New with Tags. Not the smallest size. I don't care that it says skinny. Anytime I find maternity pants or jeans in a brand like Paige or Madewell, I typically like to pick it up and the fact that it's new with tags just blew my mind so I think I'll be able to get a pretty good return for this. If you're still here, thank you so much, you know. I mean like I hope you got your snacks and your soda and all of that. I know this is a bit of a longer video but <sighs> that's the way it goes sometimes. So here's another pair of Madewell and this is a plus size. Oh I love it. Plus size. This is called the Curvy Perfect Vintage Straight Jean in a 24W. This is perfection. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I cannot wait to get this listed. I love plus size made well. The bigger the better. So this is a, another vintage new tag piece. Again, I don't usually like to pick up vintage, but I do sometimes. So this is Tony uh, Lambert Design Group. This is a size large. It is a men's sweater. And it's still got the tag here, as you can see. Just a really pretty pale yellow knit sweater. And I got this out of the men's department. So it's a men's sweater. I just, I don't know. The comps didn't particularly look all that great, but the fact that it is a large, it's men's, it's been very well preserved, new with tags. I'm gonna take a chance on this. If I take a chance on any vintage, it'll be something like this. This is a polo Ralph Lauren men's green polo shirt this is an extra small i picked it up solely because it is new with tags it's got like the little polo person there on the side ah here it is here's another planet by lauren g same person donated it's sleeveless it's ruched on the side just that basic top as you can see i have a lot of work ahead of me i have a lot 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 of listing to do that's why I was like let me hurry up and film this video because good grief like it's starting to pile up I've got all these shoes I can't wait to get it done but I don't want to get it done until I get it recorded so here I am so here's the other planet by Lauren G sleeveless ruched same same top she just had it in different different colors okay so I try to stay away from lululemon unless it is something that actually catches my attention 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 so this was in the two dollar bin and I haven't seen this style before like a sweatshirt like a funnel neck sweatshirt I cannot find a size or style dot on it I've checked all the pockets and everything but I have to keep looking because sometimes they put it in really weird places but the only way I knew that it was Lululemon is because when I got to the back there it is so I don't know this was in the men's 
bin. I'm assuming that it's women's though, so I have to do some research. I tried to Google lens it. I don't see this up there, but I will figure it out. So for two dollars, I've never seen this style before, but I actually kind of like it almost for myself. So I just went on and I picked it up, but again, trying to kind of stay away from Lululemon because it's not selling as fast for me as what I think it should. Here's another vintage piece. Can you guess why I picked this up? Woo! So pretty. Look at that work. So sparkly. I love that. I love shopping at thrift stores. You can find stuff from like back in the day and if it's well preserved, like it can look as beautiful today as what it did back then. And you could just imagine somebody wearing this. So cool. It's got shoulder pads in it. This is called uh, Lawrence. This is called Lawrence Kaiser. And this is a size extra large. The shell, <clears throat> sorry, the shell is 100% silk. And the lining is 100% polyester. I recently picked up another piece that looked like this that had good comps on eBay. So that's what I'm aiming to sell it on is eBay because I feel like maybe somebody will find it a little more appealing over there. But I mean, then again, I have sold vintage stuff on Poshmark, but good grief, look at that. That is so pretty. And I think the higher selling ones were the ones that were really decked out like this. So maybe I'll get like $75 for it. And it's silk. So yeah, I... Don't pick up vintage a lot, but if it's something like this, come on. I can't resist. $2 bin, New Attack Columbia. This is performance fishing gear. Just a pair of chambray gray shorts. $2. I'm sure I can make a profit of, I don't know. At least I can sell it for $15, I'm sure. So grab that. First time ever finding this brand. Super excited. This is 100% merino wool. This is called Icebreaker. It says $260. Body Fit 260 Women's Extra Large. So this is pretty cool. It's got this pretty little blue, green, rainbow stripe down there. It's got a higher collar. Never found it before. Always heard of it. It's got a quarter zip. So I don't know. I'm just excited. I've heard that this sells really well, like smart wool. I do like hats. And so I was digging through the $2 bin and I saw this hat. It was in really good condition. I love this herringbone, fishbone print here. And then when I turned it over, it says Marcos, Muncos, no, Mucros, I don't know, Mucros. But the style of it is uh, Trinity Kids, and this is a size extra, extra small. This is 100% wool, and it was made in Ireland. Yeah, it says Tweed, 100% wool, dry clean only made in Ireland. So these are exactly the kinds, kinds of hats that I like to pick up because typically they end up selling for about $50. We're almost to the end. Bear with me. Okay, so this just got my heart pumping when I was in the store. This is awesome. This is Filson by CC Filson. So CC Filson is a really, really good brand. I've only found it once before. I found it in the form of a vest and even that sold for $75. So this they had priced at $10 oh, and it's a men's bomber jacket. It's got the little cinches there. Tan jacket. There's the sleeves. Amazing. Like as soon as I saw I this is why now I go through the coat section. I used to pass on it because I was like, okay, my cost of goods, I wanted to average $5 and I know that in the coat section they mark it up to like whatever they want to mark it up to. So I would pass on the coat section but as of lately I've been getting back into looking through the coats because sometimes you can find things like this and it's like okay $10 for CC Filson is totally worth it. So yeah you need to go through the coat section. This is a size extra large and I haven't quite found the exact name for it but I mean for a extra large bomber jacket like this, this is the full zip. $10? Are you kidding me? This is a great brand and I do not find it often so I'm so excited to have found it again. Still more. So this is the duck, sorry, Muck, yeah, let me get it right, Muck Boot Company, the original Muck Boot Company. You're probably not really going to be able to see that so good but I have sold these boots before, not this exact style, but I sold a pair of pink gingham plaid boots with the about the same length and they were actually discolored and I think they still sold for like either no I think they sold for $85 which is great these are in much better condition and they are 
prettier, I think. No discoloration, so very pretty with the black and the purple. These are a size 6. So a size 6. People use them for like hunting and, you know, things like that. So I grabbed these. Got some dirt on the bottoms. I did try to wipe them off, but they're kind of like that. But still, I think the quality of them will still sell them. And this is almost to be expected with this brand, I think. I got another Squishmallow because I'm getting obsessed for some reason. This one is called Nichelle. I can't remember what Nichelle is supposed to be, but there she is. This I am crazy excited about because as soon as I saw them, I was like, mm hmm yes, you're coming with me. I love, 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 love stuff like this. Like, these little ugly, I don't mean to be mean. Like, I'm not trying to call them ugly, but I mean, you know, they're ugly, you know, but it's like they are beautiful ugly. Like, they are so well made. Like, you can totally feel it. This is like another version of Doc Martin, I think. These are called Duck Feet. Probably won't be able to see the logo in there, I'm sorry. But I think they're made in England, is what I saw. And on the website, they sell for like $200. And I do see that they're retaining their resale value. So uh, even this is kind of to be expected, like apparently. I saw a lot of other ones that were still selling for like $150, $75 that had this staining on the bottom. But I, I think these are called the Finn or Flynn style. Anyway, these are a size 39. As soon as he put them out, I snatched them because they were so cute. Like, I don't know. And if you could feel the weight, like, it's just such a Doc Martin-esque thing, but like a different Doc Martin. But anyway, they're pretty cute little Oxford lace-up shoes. Hopefully, I'll be getting like $200 or something. Maybe a little bit under, but like, that's about what I'm shooting for for these. New tag Laura Ashley slippers. Uh, retails for $28.00. I only paid four dollars for them i think these are a size five six so these are a small but still new tags not marked up i have a pair of shoes by this brand before the comps look really good before but they haven't sold but these look really fun almost like the duck feet brand shoes i like it when the seam goes like through the toe it just makes it look really interesting sorry my throat is going out a little bit i've been talking for too long i know but this is a size 11d so i don't think he wore them that much not enough to like really scuff them up but because the uppers look so good and i like that interesting seam that goes through there i'm gonna try to sell these again hopefully they will uh do better than the other pair especially since these are leather i think the other ones are more cloth so uh did i say the brand this is giorgio brutini in case you want to look it up Again, why I like shopping at the thrift store, because sometimes you find, like, really amazing things when people, like, clean out their attics. This is a vintage Mickey Mouse, uh, what do you call it? Varsity jacket? I think it's a varsity jacket. But anyway, I see some that are listed at, like, $125, or either the comp, I, I saw a comp that said it sold for $125. I paid $10 for this, I believe. I don't know. It's marked at $10, but I feel like they charged me the regular price. Anyway, it's got like the Mickey Mouse there on the chest and then it's got Mickey Mouse on the back. I like that it's this denim mixed with a canvas and it's insulated so it feels kind of puffy on the inside. But definitely really cool to find this. I Like I said, I see a lot of other ones and if I, if I can just like pop up something right here, I'll show you. But like on eBay, I see them like for over $100. So. I think I got these for myself. How Valentine's Day-esque with the little hearts, but not like, not really. I mean, it's brown, you know, if it was like red and pink. But anyways, love little cozy, cozy socks like this with the little animals and everything. They're new, so I got them and they've got like little sticky dots on the bottom. A little bit outside of my element, but this is called Daughter of the King. This is African American Expressions. When I first saw this, I thought it was Aladdin because of the purple and the blue. It's funny, when I got home, my boyfriend... He was like, oh, you found an Aladdin puzzle. And I was like, nope, look again. And he was like, oh, you know, and I, I was thinking the same thing when I saw it in the store. But this is still sealed. I paid $4.99 for it. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And I do see that some of these puzzles are selling for about $25 online. And I think this picture is just so beautiful. I love that. The purples and she's got the umbrella. It's like she's dancing. I just think it's beautiful. So I'm going to try to sell this. I just love it so much. Beautiful picture, new with tags, inexpensive. It's about the same as what I pay for my clothing. 
yeah. So if you are still here, thank you so much for watching this video. I needed to get this out of my system, so thank you for putting up with me while I go through all of these things. Now I just got to get started with listing all of it. I'm super excited about it. I think I'm going to get like such a good return for all this stuff. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for the next one because that's what I do. All right, see you guys later. Bye.